$250,000. The company that owns the free fall ride in Orlando's Icon Park is facing that hefty fine for violations that led to the death of a teenager. 14-year-old Tyree Sampson fell from the drop tower ride in March, and now the ride's owner is facing penalties. West Shoe investigative reporter Greg Fox explains the ride is set to be torn down, and as of today, it can never reopen in Florida. In one of the stunning revelations from the state's investigation of the free fall ride, not one but two seats had been manually adjusted to handle larger, heavier riders. 14-year-old Tyree Sampson, a 383-pound football player visiting from St. Louis, was in one of those seats, a seat that was adjusted to create a 7-inch gap between the seat and the safety harness. What's more, the state's engineers found the sensor that should have prevented the ride from operating was also moved. On the night of March 24th, Tyree slid from the seat and fell to his death. Because his seat's harness proximity sensor had been improperly adjusted, the ride was allowed to commence even though the ride was unsafe and led directly to his fall. The state also found lax training and no operating manuals on site. It not only fined Orlando Eagle Drop Slingshot LLC, and its owner, Richie Armstrong, shown here in previous West 2 News reports, but also permanently revoked the permit for free fall. I mean, this is absolute gross negligence. It's Michael Haggard represents Tyree's mother in a lawsuit alleging negligence. I mean, the carelessness really begs the question of what type of company this is and what were they thinking. Orlando State Senator Geraldine Thompson is preparing a bill called the Tyree Sampson Ride Safety Law that would require ride owners to report any adjustments to the ride to the state, require height and weight limits to be displayed at rides, require standardized employee training, and enhance the requirements to obtain a safety permit. If we could, we would undo what happened to their son, but we can't. But what we can do is to make sure that our laws uh, will prevent this from happening uh, to anyone else. The Agriculture Commissioner says she's going to turn over the case files to the Orange County Sheriff's Office to look into potential criminal charges. A spokesperson for the Sheriff's Office says they will be glad to review the case, but other than that, can say very little at this point. In Orlando, Greg Fox, West 2 News. Greg, thank you. An attorney for Orlando Slingshot says they support the changes Commissioner Freed outlined today, and they are working toward preventing future accidents like the one Tyree suffered. Orlando Eagle Drop Slingshot LLC has 21 days to appeal the state's findings and penalties.